East Carolina University is located in Greenville, North Carolina, about an hour and a half east of Raleigh. The Pirates, who won the Conference USA crown in 2009, are coached by Ruffin McNeil. If that name sounds familiar, it should. McNeil was the defensive coordinator at Texas Tech, who served as interim head coach when Mike Leach was fired. East Carolina is slightly favored in this contest, and there are a number of storylines to consider. They're facing a defense that's statistically the worst in the country today. That's a lot of chances for SMU to put points on the board, put up a bunch of yards today. Today, with a little bit of, of rain, it needs to be a little more about the offensive line and Zach, and not so much about Kyle. Uh, but when it is time to throw, then he's got to be accurate. More importantly, an SMU win puts the Ponies in the first conference championship game in school history. Uh, it's been a long time and that they've had a meaningful game hovering around you know, the end of November. And there's really, it needs to be, for SMU, it means, there needs to be no thought of loss today. It, it's got to be a win or else. But it is ECU, not SMU, that starts fast. Playing in front of a crowd of almost 50,000 fans at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium, the Pirates begin the first drive of the game from their own three-yard line. Dominic Davis, the quarterback, is in a shotgun. Pressured by Yuri Yenga in the end zone. He's flushed down. He's going to bring it down and run. Taylor Reed gives chase and will run him out of bounds. Carolina, no score early on. Here goes a handoff. Williams going right, cuts back left to the 20, to the 25, breaks a tackle, 30. Off to the left sideline, 35-40, and he'll finally be taken. Quarterback Dominique Davis leads his team all the way down the field in just seven plays. 45-50, turns left, running to the 45. Breaks away from Marcus Hunt to the 40. Heading down the left sideline to the 30, to the 20. And Yuri Yang is finally going to shove him out of bounds at the SMU 9-yard line. And Davis will hand it off. Williams, big hole right side. Touchdown, East Carolina. They march down the field at seven plays and have the first score. Later in the first quarter, Williams scores again. Three wide, two backs. Jonathan Williams off right guard. Another easy one. Well, they don't signal he got in. Now they do. Touchdown, East Carolina. Second today for Jonathan Williams. The Ponies quickly find themselves on the short end of a 14-0 score. We, they, you know, they came out and we weren't really doing, you know, on defense uh, what we needed to do. They were running and throwing, and uh, we're, we're playing our assignments. But these aren't the Mustangs of years past. There's no panic, no dejection, certainly no quit. If we came this way and not flowing back over the top, then on that one, he, he, he could To begin the second quarter, Kyle Padron leads the Mustangs on a methodical 18-play drive that chews up almost nine minutes of clock and leads to a Matt Zemanski field goal. Looking left, looking, he throws, it's batted, and it still gets through. Caught by Cole Beasley. Good job, baby. Go, Zach! Pressure slides farther left, throws deep down the left. Uh, hash mark caught by Aldrich Robinson. 28-yard field goal, Matt Zemanski yep. hits the right upright, and it goes through. It hit very hard off the right upright, but was so high up, it had enough distance to fall down on the right side of the crossbar. Cole Beasley is SMU's possession receiver. If you need a gain of 10 to 15 yards, Cole's your guy. Right, back left, waiting, waiting. He's going to throw it to Cole Beasley, caught at the 42, turns up field to the 40. Tone looks left, back right. He'll throw on a crossing route, caught by Beasley at the 25. Cole with the first down to the 22-yard line. Coming out of a timeout, SMU has the ball, second and three at the East Carolina 15. Padron out of the shotgun, has four wide, three to the right. He's looking down the middle of the field. Nothing there. He's going to roll out to his right. He's got Cole Beasley deep in the end zone instead. He's going to throw it right side, caught, touchdown, Keenan Holman, his first. It's a way to keep a play alive and Holman just working for his quarterback. The first half ends with the Pirates on top, 14 to 10. Still ahead, a roller coaster ride to the finish. SMU starts the second half with the ball. Whatever halftime adjustments June Jones and his staff made, 
Their offense is firing on all cylinders. Looking right back, left throws caught Aldrich Robinson at the 40. Burst down in the middle of the field to the SMU 40. Looking left, has to step up for some pressure. He's going to throw deep down there. Aldrich Robinson makes the catch at the 15. Spins to the 10. Padron slides left, looks back right. Throws caught, touchdown. Cole Beasley, six of the year. I mean, it's, it's really all... Uh... Brad because he just clears out the safety for me and then I'm just one-on-one -on -one with the backer and I'm expected to beat that guy so if I don't I'll pr feel pretty embarrassed. The momentum is starting to swing SMU's way and the Ponies have playmakers on both sides of the ball. Carolina and the handoff to Jonathan Williams. Simon Cherniak's there. Ball's loose. Picked up to Garrett Davis. Davis to the 20 to the 10. Touchdown SMU. And T. Reed and Marcus Hunt actually read it perfectly, made, uh, wrapped them up, and they stripped the ball out. It just so happened, my eyes in the right position at the right time. Scoop and scored. SMU 24, ECU 14. ECU QB Dominique Davis hits wide out Lance Lewis for 51 yards to the Mustang 18. But the Pony defense stiffens, holding the Pirates to only a field goal. Plenty of distance. This one is good. That's his SMU 24, ECU 17. Kyle Padron injured his ankle early in the third quarter and the touchdown pass to Cole Beasley. But he is as tough as he is talented. Despite being in visible pain, he doesn't miss a single snap. With less than a minute and a half left in the third quarter, the Mustangs have the ball first and 10 at their own 47. At the 47 yard line for SMU, late third, they're up by seven. Padron is looking for it deep down the left side of the field. Oh, Rick Robinson! Touchdown, SMU! That's going for the jugular there. That's track meet. You let that kid turn around and outrun Emmanuel Davis. SMU 31, ECU 17. And that's how the period comes to an end. The fourth quarter is a blur of big plays. ECU third and two with the SMU 16. He's looking for the end zone. Richard Crawford goes up, backs the ball, but I think it's caught on the second effort by the receiver, and it is. SMU 31, ECU 24. SMU second and goal at the East Carolina right two. The quarterback and he takes the handoff. He's going to the right edge at the five, driving through a tackler to the goal line. Touchdown SMU. Mustangs 38, Pirates 24. Two possessions away from being champions. Two possessions. ECU ball third and one at the SMU nine. Davis goes to the quarterback keeper left side. He moves around Richard Crawford to the five. SMU 38, East Carolina 31, 5 12 to go in the game. The Pirate defense forces a three and out, and with 2.39 left in the game, ECU has time for one last drive. Davis throws the receiver screen to Bowman, right side 20. With 16 seconds to go, East Carolina has the ball third and goal at the SMU 7. Remaining. Davis throwing left side, it's caught at the two to the goal line, touchdown. Lance Lewis, a seven-yard touchdown catch, and the East Carolina PAT away from tying this up. 38-38, and we go to overtime. Unfortunately, SMU's record in overtime is only 1-10, in 10, and the Pirates have the home crowd and momentum solidly on their side. ECU wins the toss and elects to play defense. On second and 10, Padron finds Cole Beasley. The Mustangs are facing third and one. June Jones calls a play he hasn't used all game. Lightning. Caught Beasley at the 10, and he's inside to the seven yard line. First at goal, SMU. I knew that we had that play to Bees all game, and I was just waiting to, for the right time to call it. And uh, Brad did a good job of holding the inside linebacker, and, and that was a big throw and a big catch. Then it's time for Zach Line. And the sophomore running back simply will not be denied. Back at the seven. And a handoff is Zach Lyon. Nothing to his right. Cuts inside to the three, to the two. 
Everybody's in tight except for Holman to the right. Hand off Zach line. Touchdown, SMU! You know, we went in with that drive, and, you know, we just executed. Um, great blocking up front. You know, great play calling by coach. And SMU leads ECU 45-38. to The question now is, can the SMU defense make a play? First and 10 at the 14, East Carolina down by seven in overtime. Davis out of a shotgun. Yes, sir! 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 Yes, and earn the Mustangs the West Division title and a slot in the Conference USA title game against the University of Central Florida. In just three years, June Jones has built a program that's on its way to joining the nation's elite. Training camp, Coach Jones said the theme of the season was gonna be perseverance. Mid-season, we had to persevere through some you know, tough losses, uh, but we did that and now, uh, we're sitting pretty going into the conference championship. And we set a goal for ourselves, you know, 10, 11 months ago after that uh, uh, Nevada game to, you know, be conference champions. And it didn't look like we were going to have a chance to do it. But the kids uh, kept believing and we kept hanging in. It's an awesome feeling going to conference championship. But Orlando, we're going to Disney. So <laughs> let's go.